So, June 11th today, and I thought I'd do a little update on my War A Hive. I think this is the third year I've had it, and it's been doing pretty good. Here's the entrance. So, the problem began at the end of April when this hive which is going gangbusters, swarmed on me. And um, I opened it up and it was just full of brood. So the bees uh, swarmed and um, produced a couple swarm cells and I thought everything was good. In fact, uh, it was so strong I was going to do a split off this hive. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago when I checked it to do the split, there was zero eggs and young larvae. It was just some cat brood that hadn't hatched out yet. So I had a problem. And uh, I was able to quickly find a queen, although she cost me 60 bucks to have her shipped. But anyway, she's in there now. And the bees are... Uh, a lot more settled down now. They were really getting pissy. That was the first clue I I had that there was uh, a problem. I mean, they should have been happy bees, but they were not happy. So anyway, <clears throat> what I did uh, as I started another worry hive, and uh, there was no brood that I could use for them to start another queen in this hive, so. What I did is I took a couple of frames of cat brood and uh, no eggs or larvae and um, I started this little hive over here. I call it my shake and bake colony. And so what it has is a um, an adapter hive with a five frame nuke adapted down to a ORA box. And I took uh, a couple of frames from that War A hive, Queenless War A hive, and then a couple of frames from uh, this hive here. It's an eight frame Langstroth. And um, with young uh, larvae and some eggs. And so I'm hoping. Uh, and installed it in this box, of course, in this uh, nuke adapter. And I'm hoping that uh, when I open it up today that there's going to be some queen cells in there. There should be. But you never know with bees. So I'm going to pop that hive open right now and check it real quick. Okay, so here I got that little hive opened up, and um, there's a couple of uh, really nice uh, swarm cells. I'm seeing one, two, three, I think there is more of them. I see three here though on the bottom, and they look like uh, viable ones. They're sealed, and they're not too small. I'm going to do this one-handed. Oh, turn the frame around, there's a, there's a nice big one right there. It's a good size uh, queen cell right there. And it is capped. So... Looks like the girls have uh, done their job, and um, with any luck, I'll have a queen in here in the next week or two. So that's what I call a shake and bake split. Um, I'm probably going to take a little flack for this, but I've done it at least a dozen times, 
and uh, there's a lot of techniques for doing a queenless split and all that, but uh, it's not really uh, that that difficult. You just have to have some um, young enough egg and larva to uh, allow the bees to um, make a new queen. And generally speaking, it takes a day or two for them to figure out they're queenless and then they'll start uh, making, uh, selecting a young enough larva to uh, feed royal jelly to and make a queen. I don't know how they do it. I don't think anybody really does, but that's what's going on. So, like I said, uh, took a couple of uh, regular Langstroth frames from that hive right there, and then a couple uh, cap brood, uh, older cap brood that, uh, from the War A hive that was just about ready to hatch out. And I made this combination hive. So the eggs and the nurse bees came from that hive, and the uh, bodies, the cap brood uh, from that war a hive, that, that is all hatched by now and filled out this box nicely. There's a lot of bees in this box, actually. So that's how you, one way you can do a, a queenless split. All he needs uh, actually a couple of uh, good frames of young brood and some honey stores. This is a good frame if you look at it. It's got some older cap brood. That was all pretty much a larva when I put that in there. And there's some uh, honey stores and I see quite a bit of nectar and some pollen. So this was a perfect frame to use for this split. So, put it all back together and check on them in another week and a half to see if the there's a queen in here. There should be. <laughs> but like I say, with bees, you just never know. Alright, signing off.